Hi, Blake with Boulevard Home, and today we're gonna to talk about microwaves that you shouldn't buy. Now, there are a lot of good manufacturers out there. Now, a lot of the microwaves we've talked about in other videos are actually made by the same company. They just stick other people's name on them and sell them as their brand. Uh, you know, Samsung builds a whole lot. LG builds a whole lot. Sometimes you don't know exactly who you're getting, so you have to kind of keep that in mind when you're buying microwaves. Things that you should be mindful of when you're purchasing a microwave number one would be if you're going to buy a microwave don't buy a cheap microwave if you go to walmart and you go to the other places well gee i got this nice countertop microwave and it's 59.95 it's not a very good microwave a lot of these microwaves are on what they refer to as an exchange list for manufacturers what that means is if you have a serious problem with it say your magnetron fails your high voltage transformer fails they're not even going to fix it it's going to be so much more for the manufacturer to pay to have this repaired than it would be to just give you a new one they're going to give you a new one and then you have to go through the hassle of, of going through the manufacturer and waiting for a new one and waiting for them to ship it the new one to us it's a hassle if you're going to buy a microwave at least buy a microwave that's not cheap that you have to pay a little bit of money for it because they are built better be mindful of buying the the small microwaves because generally you're not going to get your money's worth out of them unless you're okay spending 59 dollars and throwing it away in a couple years and buying another 70 dollars microwave in two years and throwing that away then in two years another 90 dollars microwave because money is not getting cheaper as all of you don't know so another thing that you should take in consideration when you're buying a microwave and you shouldn't buy this is my opinion and this may raise some controversy but this again is my opinion any type of microwave that is a built-in microwave or is part of what they refer to as a combi unit where you have the microwave on top and the oven on the bottom built-in microwaves the opening is cut specifically for that microwave or that microwave with a trim kit once this microwave does fail somewhere down the road and you have the possibility to get sick of it too i gotta throw that in there you have to find a microwave that's going to exactly fit that spot that that microwave is in that's pretty difficult and then you're limiting your choices as far as what you want in a microwave because you have to buy this microwave brand x that will fit that opening and it may not be what you want later on and then when you have the combo units it is part of the wall oven so if you have a problem with the microwave congratulations you're replacing both the oven and the microwave because they come together don't buy microwaves with a combo unit they look great but if you have problems well that's something you have to take in consideration, you know, when you're looking at it. Also, don't buy microwaves with annoying beepers. I have a microwave. This thing has the most annoying, and I mean annoying chime to it. Frigidaire, do something with that stupid beeper on your microwave. It's annoying. It drives me nuts. But also the same line, don't buy microwaves with buzzers on them you can't hear either because certain buzzers on microwaves now, they are electronic tones and people can't hear them. Especially when you get older, you're losing certain decibel levels in your ears. If you have a microwave on the floor, ask a salesperson to at least turn the timer on it so you can hear the beeper on it so you know what it sounds like. These little things are going to annoy you to death. You're going to end up hating them. And then also have microwaves now that the doors fold down like an oven door. Well, yeah, it's really cool. Unless you're, how should I put this, short? If you put the microwave above your oven, which a lot of people do when they do built-ins, try to reach in to that microwave if you're five foot four you have a door that comes down sticks out this far and you're trying to reach up and over this door and way in the microwave to try to get what you want to get out i know that sounds funny but i've had people complain about it can't you fix this i know i'll get you a step stool but that's about it but these are things that you really should be considering when you're when you're you know looking at a microwave and why you shouldn't buy a microwave and things that you shouldn't be getting in a microwave so uh take this to heart Go shopping at your, your local dealer. Uh, find out what's best for you. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Well, we have lots of other videos for you to watch. So, so you know, please like and subscribe and you can check out all these other videos and we'll find out lots of interesting stuff you may or may not want to know, but at least you'll have that information and information is power. So thanks for watching.